as you may be aware, uh, IT is has moved. It's hard to say move to a service because most of it is not a service, but that's clearly the direction it's going. And whether it's uh, software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, this is the way it's going. And and historically, I would say five years ago, your only choice was to do a public cloud version of those uh, as a service. Sure, there was managed services, uh, but there was really no way to go in uh, with your credit card, order, make a click, and have something come as a service on-prem. And uh, I, what was it, three years ago, Daniel, uh, uh, HPE CEO Antonio Neri got on stage and basically said, we are going to have every one of our uh, products available as a service, I think he said by the end of 2022. Uh, and this GreenLake event was really a, a continuation of all of the action there. And what I am going to do is I'm going to flash this slide of the amount of services. First of all, hopefully you see that holistically, they're offering a lot of services that are GA. So everything that you see in the white is generally uh, available. And the 12 new services that are on there uh, are, are in, in orange was the focus of, of this event. And, and Daniel, you and I had the chance to sit down with some really interesting people. I mean, first off, uh, Antonio Neri, uh, we talked uh, about uh, storage uh, and, and, and data. We talked about networking uh, as a service, but, but holistically, and I would say, say thematically, um, HPE, is first to market. They have the most amount of services that are available amongst the traditional vendors, okay? And uh, Dell, HPE, uh, Lenovo, Cisco, IBM, and I'll even put Oracle in there. So more services that are stood up than than anybody else. Uh, but I'll caveat that with, say, but well, by the way, great job HPE, but this is very much a marathon uh, and not a sprint. But I have to tell you, I feel right now, I didn't feel the momentum that HP had, let's say last year, but I would say in 2022, with the people that I talked to, the enterprises uh, that I talked to, uh, CIOs, they are bringing HPE GreenLake up as a, as a viable option, even to uh, some of the public cloud services. So pr pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I would like to see a little bit more of a drill down in the future of how HPE GreenLake customers can connect to the public cloud. And I think that's probably a Esmeral uh, uh, conversation. But but anyways, uh, uh, good job. Yeah, it was a big event uh, for HPE. Of course, uh, it's always a, uh, a big challenge to compete with Jensen. And, uh, you know, the ma magic leather jacket of GTC. Uh, so doing an event at the same time, I commend anyone. But we are in a world where tech is moving fast. And you cannot, as we know, it's our 6.5 Summit, try to meet everybody's uh, timelines for events. And you got to get your launches out when you get them out. Um, you know, I've been a bull around what HP has been doing for a long time. Um, I think the market is finally starting to recognize the fact that the company is genuinely ahead. Now, again, it does not mean, uh, in, uh, sorry, not NVIDIA, Lenovo, Cisco, Dell are not going to catch up. All these companies have a significant customer uh, databases that are already spending on infrastructure. But right now, it's pretty safe to say in terms of on the kind of bring the cloud to you, the on-prem uh, consumption-based service providers that HPE has the most comprehensive portfolio available in the market today and is doing the most currently to deliver that cloud-like experience that Neri talked about all the way back in 20, I believe it was 19, is it 2018 or 19, Pat? I'm, I'm, the years, um, the days go slow, but the years go fast. But uh, it has gone really quickly. You know, this, you know, this overall set of services though, Pat, what I'd really like seeing is the move into data services uh, at scale, network services at scale. I think everyone's gonna have a compute and storage 
option. I think the data area is going to be the big opportunity. Some of the HPC offerings, the ability to accelerate um, through the GreenLake platform, of course, uh, seems important to me. And, and something else, Pat, that HPE is, is on top of right now and a little bit in front of our co-location and partner services. Um, essentially, these companies, HPE, Cisco, Dell, they're all massively dependent on partner ecosystem and having a, a more advanced offering to help their partners catch up in this consumption space because these partners are desperate. They're looking for opportunities to compete as the public cloud continues to gain momentum. But as we always say when we talk about this, remember 75% or so of workloads are still on-prem. It's yeah. a very large opportunity. The TAM is growing. The demand for compute is growing. HPE is in a good position, triple digit growth, big backlog of orders for this particular solution. But you know, the challenge I'll say, their top line growth is still slow. That transformation is taking time. And I'm looking for Neri and his team to continue to push the envelope there because um, seeing the growth in GreenLake is the short term, but seeing overall growth getting back to eight, 10, 12% is what the market's gonna wanna see long term, Pat. So a uh, good slate of events. We got to get really close to it, got next to pretty much all the executives. Um, Tom Black, Keith White, um, Assad, uh, you know, and, and got to hear their stories. It's an impressive set of, of updates. And off we go, Pat. We'll come back to this, I'm sure, in the next six months.